Hello everyone, this is Discord Swift Tutorials Part 6, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to filter and disable your DMs on your Discord account. Before we start though, I do want to let you guys know uh, that I just finished uh, completely developing my Discord server uh, for my YouTube channel. Uh, so if you want to support me, uh, you can join my Discord server, the link is in the description as well as it is also a discord support uh, server so you could ask uh, for any help uh, that you have related to discord in that case though uh, let's move on to disabling your dms now the first step in in disabling your dms and filtering your dms is to go to your user settings on your discord account firstly you go to the bottom left corner here to the gear icon where it says user settings uh, and then once you're in here, we go to uh, the Privacy and Safety tab on the left side. And there's a few uh, different options here. Now, looking at these all together, it might seem a little confusing, but I'll go over each of these options uh, in front of us here. Uh, so the first section is the Sensitive Media section. So this is how you filter uh, sensitive media or links uh, that people may send you, or any sort of uh, possible... Uh, media that may contain sensitive content so the first section here is direct messages from friends um, just going over these options here I have, I have it currently on show so it shows all uh, media content from my friends uh, but if you if discord thinks that it may be sensitive uh, then you could put it on blur uh, which will simply blur the image uh, when it's sent uh, wherever it is but from your friend uh, as a direct message uh, then it'll just blur the image and if you have it on the block setting then it will simply not show the the message at all so you won't even get the message uh, of that image if if discord thinks that it may contain sensitive content uh, the next section here is direct messages from others so these are just other people that are not your friends just random users could be bots could be who knows i always have it on block so i simply do not get any uh, random sensitive or possibly sensitive content uh, from any random users on discord so i highly recommend that you have this on the block setting uh, lastly here is the server channel messages uh, you can have this on show or blur it doesn't really it, it's your preference both are fine uh, but it's basically just any messages inside uh, any server uh, given channel uh, that someone sends a image or link uh, that may be sensitive in that case though that is the sensitive media uh, section uh, the next one here is how to filter uh, your direct messages so there's three options here uh, we got green yellow and red uh, the first option is green which is filter all direct messages uh, if you click filter all direct messages uh, then this will filter all messages including ones from your friends uh, and if discord thinks that it's spam which in many cases because i currently i have it on uh messages from non-friends pretty much every single message that i get from a non-friend is filtered for in, is filtered for spam and goes into a spam inbox so i could just say that every message you get if you have it on uh, filter all direct messages will just go straight into a spam inbox so you'll, um, i mean it's you could filter all messages but i personally like the yellow it's it's it seems better because then that means your friends direct messages will be going into a spam inbox which is kind of annoying because then you'll have to dig through the spam inbox to find which ones are your friends or not uh, so I'd keep it on the middle here uh, but basically the first one will filter all direct messages uh, for spam and will put into a spam inbox which if you do have a spam inbox uh, setting enabled like one of these top two then you probably have noticed uh, that in the top left corner here uh, that there's a little uh, message uh, requests uh, section that pops up and there'll be a little number on how many DMs you have waiting in there and then you could click in there and you could see uh, the waiting DMs that could be spam or could not be and you could either accept or decline those DMs. Uh, next here of course is the filter direct messages from non-friends so this only filters people that are not your friend on discord but all your friends DMs will just go as a regular DM so you'll just see it on the side tab as a regular notification uh, but all, all other uh, DMs will be put into the spam inbox. Which, by the way, uh, when you get DM'd and it goes into the spam inbox, you don't actually get pinged for it. So that is another bonus to filtering. Uh, and then lastly, of course, is do not filter at all. So basically, all direct messages to you, whether spam or not, will just pop up as a regular DM. You will get pinged for those uh, direct messages. Uh, but it, I don't, I don't uh, personally 
uh, thing you should have this on. I think you should have uh, the yellow option on. I think it's just it's best. It's the best of both worlds, and it's just simply uh, the best option uh, for this section. The next and most important section here is how to disable uh, your server um, members' um, direct messages. Uh, so this option here, allow direct messages uh, from server members. So this is this is here. This setting is applied when you join a new server. It does not apply retroactively to your exi existing servers. Uh, so essentially, uh, when you have this on, it only works. So from from the moment you turn it on, it only uh, um, it only allows slash disables uh, direct messages from p server members uh, from new servers you joined since you changed this setting. Uh, so if I just now change the setting to off, uh, so I don't allow direct messages from any server member, um, then it will not apply to my existing servers that I'm in. So anyone from the servers that I'm currently in right now, if I turn this off, will still be able to send me messages. Now, technically, this could also mean uh, that the setting is applied to all your servers when you join a new server. Uh, I could be wrong, so I it's one of those options, but either way, I would um, leave it on whichever you'd prefer. Uh, so if you don't want direct messages from random server members of ser in servers that you're in, then I'd have it off. And if you are not, or if you're fine with it, then you could have it on. And if you have it on, uh, you'll still get like and you get the direct messages from server members of course you could have or you should have uh, the filter direct messages from non friends so then basically every uh, message that you get from anyone in the servers you're in which are probably not all your friends uh, they will all get direct uh, they will all get uh, filtered and they will all go into the separate spam inbox no ping uh, no hassle and it's just in the message request you could view all your or your incoming DMs and then lastly all the way down here, uh, we have enable message requests from server members you may not know. Uh, so it says here, if direct messages are enabled, uh, the setting is applied when you join a new server. It does not apply uh, retroactively, of course. Uh, but basically, uh, this basically enables, of course, well, like what it says, message requests from server members you may not know. So basically, it'll, it'll enable message requests from server members that are not your friends in the servers that you're in. Uh, so since you have direct messages enables, enabled, uh, you will be able to uh, get message requests, and of course, message requests are the uh, is in the message requests tab that'll pop up, uh, including uh, when you get um, if you get a, a message uh, filtered as a spam uh, message, uh, then it will also pop up in the message request tab. So remember, when you're in the message request tab, there's two uh, little options on the top, and there'll be a requests uh, section which just shows regular messages uh, re being requested. And then there'll be a set, uh, spam tab right beside it, uh, which will show the messages that they think is spam, which usually uh, contain links or advertising or some weird thing like that. Uh, but in that case, uh, you should be fine. So all in all, uh, that's basically a gist of, of uh, filtering and, and disabling your direct messages uh, from other users. Of course, we went over the sensitive media. Uh, so this is just media that Discord thinks might be sensitive. Uh, and who you uh, see slash blur it from, or, or simply don't get it from. Uh, then le next is the filter section. So filtering for spam, which once again, spam goes into your uh, message request box. And lastly, of course, uh, direct messages uh, from server members, which is uh, the most important and the most uh, asked uh, setting that people want to know because, well, you don't like getting spammed or getting sent scams from random people in the servers you're in. Uh, so of course, uh, in that case, though, that will be the wrap to this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, please stay tuned. Please leave a like and subscribe. And once again, please join my new Discord server. It would be nice to meet you, uh, as well as it is a Discord support server. Uh, so if, if you have any uh, further questions about Discord, please join. It'll be nice. Love to see you. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.